be so honored to empower you even more in this journey because you deserve it. And I want to be part of this. I find what you do hypnotic, and I think it's very original, and I find it almost more magnificent when you get a large group of people and the movements are smaller, but perfect, you know? It blew me away. <laughs> Even sitting here, you want to do something. I want to do something. You can, you can come with us. Oh!
and I just, I need some oxygen right now. I'm like freaking out right now. This is so crazy that you know what I have to do! This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be, this is me. We are the ghetto kids from the part of Africa, Uganda. Exploding, I'm telling you. You should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to see you back. That's yeah. all I can say.
I know the practice time it takes. I know the sacrifice it takes. I had this saying that whenever I hit a big shot, whenever I hit a game winner, whenever it was one of those moments, I jumped up on the stand and I said, this is my house. Woo! And today, on this stage, this is y'all house. We started the show I got asked you know what do you want to see on stage and I said I want to feel it I said I want my heart to skip a beat I want my heart to soar and you know what guys I was really really feeling it and I think they were feeling it and I think Remind people who you are. We are Light Balance Kids and we are from Ukraine. And we're finalists from season 14. <laughs> Could your families come with you or is it just you guys? Uh, some of our parents, like my father, is still in the war in Ukraine. He's fighting for our country, for independence and freedom. You've seen this? Of course, yeah. I woke up at four in the morning and my family grabbed me and we ran to the underground station because uh, it was bombs and rockets everywhere. 
you are unbelievably brave and you have our total respect. Thanks. Thank you so much. We're very grateful. been one of my favorite acts that I have seen in the history of America's Got Talent. And there's such an amazing message here where you come from, at, at this point, it's arguably the darkest place in the world, and you come across the globe to bring us light. My choice. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I agree.
because I believe the dark side is the good side. Right, what's the name of this amazing looking group? We are called Unity. We're all friends in college. So we decided to put this group together to perform a piece called I Will, okay. which is about being told that you can't or you're not enough. And how is a group that we come together and power through that? Lovely. I love that she's giving you the mic and he's like, why are you handing it to me? <laughs> What's your name, young man? Uh, my name's Kieran. Kieran, what would you do if you were to win the money? Would you split it between all of you? We'd have to figure that one out. Or you're just a calculator, darling, the <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can win? I certainly hope so. OK, good luck. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. I'm Declan, and labels don't define me. I push the gender boundaries, but don't allow discrimination to change who I am. People stare and say things. They try to label me. They say I can't be who I am. I will. They say don't dare, don't you even go there. Cutting off your long hair, you do as you're told. Tell you wake up, go put on your makeup. This is just a phase you're gonna outgrow. I'm Libby, and, and we, we are, are in love. love. Since we came out, we constantly have eyes on us. For something as simple as holding hands walking down the street. Well, as a male and female can kiss in public, and no one would look twice. They don't want us to show our love. We will. There's nothing wrong with you. It's true. It's true. There's something wrong with the village. With the village. Something wrong. Junior, growing up, I was bullied for my love of dance. Dancing makes me feel free and allows me to act out my feelings in a safe place. Bullies ruin this. I was beaten up and called names, all because a boy loved to dance. I'm Kira. Society has conditioned me to believe that I will never be good enough because of my size, that I will be unsuccessful if I don't change my shape. People say I'll never make it. I will. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, they stare in the village, in the village. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's true, it's true. There's something wrong with the village, with the village. aren't hindered because of our differences. Our talents aren't any less because we are unique. Our worth isn't defined by our diversity. It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognise, accept, embrace and celebrate those differences. I 
I'd never judge somebody on the way they wear their body. But I pray. The way that you got your message across, it was so strong. It was an audition I'll never forget. What you've done, you've done it your way. And look, we don't have any golden buzzers left. Aww. But sometimes I feel you should just break the rules. Can I ask a question? What are you going to sing? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> We're a dance crew. What? We're a dance act. Is this serious? No, yeah, yeah, yes, very serious. Honestly? Yes. yes. Okay. And you think you can win this? Yeah. Like to think so. Show us what you can do. Good Thank luck. You very much. Come on, boy band. Let's lift this roof. <laughs> What's your guys' name as a group? We are Groupmen! So what makes your dance crew different? We want to be able to prove that hip-hop is more than just a side act, right. and that hip-hop can be the main event. Oh, I like that. Let's do this. Let's go. Thank you. Three, two, one. Yeah. I've been caught up in the system, they talking but never listen. Wow. Walking, put in submission, your body gon' come up missing. They chuck it up to an accident, no one gon' ever listen. Rocking like 40 carats and all of my diamonds glisten. <laughs> Wow! 
This is how it's supposed to be done. I said yes to being a judge here as I thought, I'm gonna have the honor of inviting people into the building so they don't have to dance on the concrete anymore. And I wanna find a group of people that wants it so bad and I wanna get rid of every obstacle in their way. And I gotta do it. this moment and be like, come back and kill this. When you were on AGT, did it change your life? Yeah, it did because we had a live show in Las Vegas and- They played Las Vegas? Amazing. Yeah, and a movie's being made on the journey of the Unbeatable Crew in India. Wow! Is it really? A movie's been made on them. Movie! Can I ask a question? Do you think you're gonna win this time? Yeah, we were very disappointed we couldn't get that title but there's always a second chance in life and we are hoping to get the champion's title and prove our talent that we are the champions. Good for you. Show us and show the world what the brilliance of Mumbai is. Do it. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. I'm excited for this. didn't win AGT. The disappointment you had, we felt like a knife going into our heart. But disappointment only lasts a moment. This is a moment. Sit there and think about this moment. 
time stands still and I'm feeling so much and it's all right here and I just gotta trust that we are the one the time has come so tell me baby what's it gonna take we can be the champions you have a chance of winning this now you know that because you deserve this
guys. Honestly, I think you're fantastic. The strength and the power and the focus and the determination was superb. Absolutely smashed it. We are crew all the way from New York City to Bronx, New York. Oh. Love that, no. Tell me why this year, AGT, what's the dream and what's the plan? Uh, the dream right now, especially this year, is 2020. You know, we should never waste any more time. We're from a city where there's no hope, there's no influence. We don't see the right things when we go back home, but we never gave up on our hopes and dreams. So we want to give the young people something positive to look into, you know? It's about our culture, our city, our family, our family back home that's watching right now. And we understand that there's like a million dollars at stake right now. We already invest in our community with just as little as our pocket money. So a million dollars right now, we will really, really put on for our city. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. That's not... I want to give you a little head start here.
reach the ceiling. Give it a moment to prison. What is the dream? The dream is to represent Toronto internationally. It's Toronto versus the world. And... <laughs> we have the same dream, yeah! it seems. <laughs> What's special about Renegades? A big mantra of ours is that no matter what your dance skill is, if you have a good vibe, a good energy, and you're passionate about dance, you have a space on our team. Aww. Are you nervous? I think we're just ready to we're dance. Ready. We're excited. Stage is yours. Whoa. an amazing performance. And we each only got one golden buzzer. And the bad news is, 
We've used them. We've used them. All of them, yes. That's okay. We've used them all. I know, I know. It's tough. It's tough. No. I feel like we are the judges. Yeah. And I feel like if we think they're good enough, we can break this wall. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. yes. I think we should do a group decision right now. All for one. Yep. And one. one. Oh. Welcome back. We remember you. You guys were absolutely amazing. Hi, thank you. So give us your age range of your group. Uh, the youngest of us is 11 and the oldest is 13. Oh, and tell us where you're from. Uh, we are from Ukraine. Wow. Thank you guys for coming all the way back. So can you explain a little bit of what you guys uh, do? Um, we are a dance group, but it's not just dancing. It's also lights, programming, uh, coding. Um, there's a lot that goes into this to make a whole good performance. All right. <laughs> we can't wait to see what you guys do. Good luck. Thank you. I'm so excited. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. Hey! Oh. Whoa! Nice job. the definition of a spectacle. It was truly spectacular, it was marvelous. And I just wish there were some guarantee to get you guys through to the live show. If only there were one surefire way we could get you there. Oh wait, there is. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. Yeah, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Too, 
too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Stan, in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> Right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It this is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss please, on live TV. Please, 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 please. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see Tom. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Are you you did it! Times, oh. Howie? Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> He tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams true at once. I thought he was going to be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. <laughs> Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. 
Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! What? Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's no. We need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man, I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God. I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. 
after the citizenship, I'm like, yeah, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here what? we go. Oh, Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. Honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The and and last night we had the highest of highs, and then some incredible for me personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. No, okay. also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> I was grumpy up sometimes, up? and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's nothing. No, I admit you. I do admit you. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> 
So on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> there was, you know, we would deliberate a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. no. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? <laughs> it's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you weren't on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're <laughs> cheating because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very 